So now I've got my setup sheet created using the default temp templates uh, from Power Mill. What if I want to uh, customize that for a specific customer, for example? Well, now I'm going to demonstrate how we can do that. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go to where your default templates are stored. So that was in Program Files, Dell Cam, your version of Power Mill that you're using, File, Setup Sheets, and what you want to do is copy that entire folder, for example, um, to your desktop. So I'm just going to paste that here. Setup Sheets, I'm going to rename that. I'm going to put bracket custom, close bracket, and then I can open this up and perhaps make some edits. So here I've got my company logo uh, to be the Delcam AMS logo and the Power Mill. Um, if I go to my desktop, I have a nice, lovely image. Of Boris the Spider, I'm going to use him as my company logo instead. So I'm just going to copy him across into that folder. I can delete or uh, rename this file so it's not going to get called up. And all I have to do is rename this image with company logo. It's got to be exactly the same, so you may want to copy and paste it across because this is the parameter that is used within our template. So I'll just demonstrate that now. If I go to header.html, I'm going to open that with Notepad. I'm just going to scroll down. So the header's at the top. You can see we've got this commented out section here which says company logo image tag. And you can see that company, lo company logo it's been used within this expression here and that displays that image there. So whatever image in the correct folder is labelled as company logo is going to show in that folder there. So to do this and view it in Power Mail, all I need to do is regenerate my setup sheets. But the first thing I need to do, and this is very important to note, uh, we've got to redirect our paths. So if I go to my paths, you can see if I open them up, we've got our templates here, header.html, toolpath, summary. If I open this up, you can see where this is. This is from our default location, our version of Power Mill file setup sheets. I don't want it to look at that anymore. I've copied the default, so we're not editing and messing around with our default templates. Now I copied it to my desktop. Um, and I called it set of sheets custom. So I'm going to open that up and point my first one, which I opened, which was this one, to header.html. Now I only actually have to point one of these at the correct folder if all of these are named correctly. If I open this up now, I'll just prove it because they're all going to look in the same folder. So you can see the setup sheets custom has already been linked. So Rather than looking in the default location now, Palm is looking to our custom folder on the desktop. So I can close that and I'm going to go Setup Sheets, Print. And hopefully we'll be able to see Boris our Spider as our header logo. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to print. Close that down. And you can see that. Boris has now taken place of our um, Delcam AMS logo and he's on every page like so. So now a common request is to actually edit the size of this logo. People normally don't want their logos spread in the entire width and we can do this within our style sheet. So if I go back to my um, setup sheets custom, what I want to do is open my style sheet edit with notepad and then I'm going to scroll down to a section which talks about formatting images. So right at the bottom 
we've got this commented out section here which says image stuff and uh, we've got code for the tool image, width and height, the snapshot image, height, percentage, and we've got our logo image. So currently we've got the width as 100%, so that's all the way across. Um, if I just hide this, 100% is right the way from here to here, and if I drop that down to 50%, uh, the height is auto, all I need to do is save that, regenerate my setup sheet. So I'm going to so right click, setup sheets, print. Just wait for those to um, be output again. You can see now that my image is 50% of the size that it was previously. So it was previously 100% of the width, now it's 50%. So you can do that um, any percentage you like, from 0 to 100, and the height will be automatic. So you can see we've got all of these pages. We've got our project header, then our NC header, then each toolpath individually. It's worth pointing out that we don't have to write all of these every time. If I go back, go NC programs, setup sheets, paths, here you can see we've got a checkbox next to some of them. For example, if I just wanted to show the summary page, I can say um, just check the summary and say close. I'm going to regenerate my setup sheets, say print. Every time I press print, by the way, as, a, as well as it being shown in the browser inside um, Power Mill, if I go back to my desktop and open up my basics, setup sheet files, project sheets, print.html, this is being regenerated every time. So I open that up and now I've just got my toolpath summary. Now, here I've come to a common request and this is to remove this header portion which splits up our um, toolpath list. So here we've got a summary of all the tools used and um, the strategy. Um, but we haven't got a continuous list, it's been broken up with headers and this is very space consuming. And I'm just going to show you a quick way of how to remove that. So to get rid of that header, so we've just got one nice list of tools, I can go into Setup Sheets, Paths, Options, and you can see we've got the summary page breaking here, and here is automatic, so there's five toolpaths on a page, and I'm going to change that to off. So I switch that off, I say close, Setup Sheets, Print, and if I scroll down now, close that, you can see we've no longer got a broken up summary sheet um, and this would be slightly more clear if we had a long list of tools which is what I'm going to do next. So you can see we've got this list of um, five toolpaths uh, and actually the semi-finish and the finish are using the same 10 mil ball nose so there are only four tools being used what I'm going to do though is duplicate some of these toolpaths um, and demonstrate the effect on our setup sheets. So holding down control, I can create multiple roughing toolpaths. I'll just create a number like that, it doesn't uh, really matter. These are all using the same tool because it's the same toolpath duplicated. Uh, so now if I go to uh, regenerate my setup sheets, You can see we've got this nice long list of the tools being used and um, the strategy and whatnot. Here you can see though, obviously because I've just copied and pasted, uh, we've got the end mill 16 mil diameter and it's repeated multiple times. So often a customer has a tool being used in multiple operations but in the tool summary they don't want that uh, tool to be listed multiple times as it just wastes space. So to turn tool duplicates off we need to go and edit the um, HTML code 
of our summary sheet. So I'm going to go to my summary sheet, open up, uh, open it in Notepad. I'm going to scroll down and just show you what needs to be edited. Uh, so we've got this summary row here, an end summary row. I'm just going to change that to tool row, an end tool row, and then I can save that. I'll just minimize that. So previously we've got this nice long list of duplicates, whereas really we've only got four tools. So if I regenerate my set of sheets now, as you can see immediately, my duplicates have gone because I have my list of just four tools.